Often it is necessary to make changes to individual visits in leash time. Maybe the client would like his dog walked at a different time one day, or perhaps the assigned sitter calls in sick. Leash time offers several tools for changing single visits or groups of visits quickly and easily. In most visit lists, you see, the service name of the visit will be a link that you can click on to quickly change several aspects of the visit. The first field of this quick editor is the assigned sitter, where you can change the sitter assignment to a sitter who has worked for this client in the past or to some other sitter. Let's pick Becky. Next to that is the time of day for the visit. We click on it to open the time window. We can set a custom time for this appointment or we can simply choose a named time window. Note how the time window represented by each label is displayed as we hover over it with a mouse. Clicking the label sets the time. And here we can change the service type of the visit if we need to. We can leave the visit as it is with the Quit button, or we can save the changes with the Done button. The list updates, showing us the visit now reassigned from Andy to Becky, and with an earlier time window. If you need to change more than these three fields, you can click the magnifying glass next to the visit to open the visit editor. The window that pops up shows you all of the visit's editable aspects, starting with the visit status, incomplete, canceled, or completed. The type of schedule the visit belongs to is displayed here, and below it are the editable fields. As before, we can change the sitter, time, and service type of the visit, but here we can also choose which pets are to receive care by clicking here. We can choose one or more pets, or we can simply leave it as all pets. The client charge for this visit is displayed below the service type. The value is either the custom price of this service type for this client, or the standard price for this service type if no custom price is set. If you need to adjust the price for this one visit, you can tack on a few dollars or knock a few dollars off with the adjustment field. Below this is the payment rate for the sitter. The value shown here reflects the custom pay rate the sitter receives for this service type or the standard pay rate for this service type if no custom rate is set. As with the client charge above, the sitter rate can be customized for this one visit. Just supply a dollar amount to add or subtract from the sitter's rate. Please note that this does not change the amount the client is charged. If you have any discounts defined, you can select one here to apply it to this visit. You can enter a brief note explaining any changes you make to the charge or rate in the Surcharge Reason box. Indicate whether this is a high priority visit with this checkbox, or enter any notes specific to this visit here. When you are done with your changes, you can simply update the visit, or you can discard your changes using the Quit button, or you can update the visit and send an email notification to the client. This opens an email composer that you can edit and then send to the customer. When you have to change a number of a client's visits that may or may not belong to a single schedule, you can use the Visits Details Editor. Let's take a look at the schedule of our client, Rudy Bastian. We'll type in a part of his name in the search box, and we are taken to the Services tab of his client profile. We choose the Visits Detail item in the Options menu, and we are presented with a complete list of Rudy's uncancelled visits for the last month. But you can change the dates and click the Show button to view a different range of visits. This is a very simple tool. Whatever settings you choose in the form at the top of the page are copied over the visits you have selected when you click the Set Values button. To select the visits you want to change, you can use the Select All link at the top of the page or check off visits individually. This is a powerful tool and you should exercise care when you use it. There is no undo function if you mistakenly change a group of visits. There are other ways to change individual visits, such as those found in the Easy Schedule 
and the Visit Reassignment page, but these are described in other videos. Thanks for using Leash Time.